Now one of the great things about popping and destroying an FB is you don't need to have any objective at all. Just get there and blow it up. Testicles, press J. Kushi, you aren't want to run over here and jump an opal. Hang on, Bimmel. Alright. Oh, I can see people's tongues. Me too. How many satchels does it usually take to blow up an FB? Twelve. Stand by, stand by, stand by. I can teach you guys how to take down the vehicle with four not getting killed. Alright, for this one we're gonna watch East Track and Killer Cow do their thing here real quick. So stand back and let's have uh East Strike let's put uh, his two on the uh Say pull security first. Let's get everybody to the front of the vehicle spawn first so they can look in and watch. Not too close. Yeah, not too close. Yes, not too... Now remember, if you're inside this, just like all buildings, if it blows up and you're inside it, you're dead. So did you yeah, with that... So did you with that... Now you straight knows how to do it. Alright, one thing you guys will notice when you get do get near the poles is they're three-sided. So what I do when I do the vehicle spawn is I'll come in and I'll get the side that's facing the front. And then I place one, place the second one right above it or below it. Then I run to the back side over to the other side and I get the charges facing either myself or the back. As the other ones blow, since they're directional, I get no harm. And then I can run out before those other ones go. And that takes care of the vehicle in one go. Nice and quick. Yep, that's it. Cool. But generally, if you do the other side first, you don't have to worry about it collapsing on you. Yeah, as long as you're out before that third charge goes off, you're okay. Now, there's several alternatives to the infantry spawn. This is my particular way of doing it. Um, if you have two people at the same time, it works it works fairly well because it can 
confuse them also as to where these people are. What I'll do is I'll put two on each tent and I'll rotate around to the right. If you watch, I can put two on this tent and I rotate around to the right, I can put two on the other tent. And now if the other guy was on the other side doing the same thing, boom, boom, you'd have two guys hit him at the same time. You'd confuse them, plus you would take down the infantry spawn, boom, boom, because the infantry spawn takes down, needs eight to be taken down. So if you got three, three guys doing this on TS, working together, you can take this FB down before the enemy even knows what happened. The only thing I can take wow. down uh, FB is uh, in, uh, aircraft. Well, if you notice, once that FB is down, our FB now is over by uh, by Beyonce. If you click on today, you're going to see our FB has popped up by Beyonce. Oh yeah. What were you saying, Ed? I was just asking, the only thing I can take down um, FBs are satchel charges and airplanes? Nope, just satchel no, charges. No, just satchels. Where to? Um, we could actually just stay right here for a few and have E-Strike explain TS operation we're going to be using. So guys, what I, what, what, what I can do, I can despawn, go to our new FB, set up a new mission for the uh, ZOC demonstration. Copy. Sounds good. Okay, we're going to do the probably the nastiest thing in the world, though. E-Strike, if you want to uh, explain the TS function, I will get an Opal for us to RTV. Copy that. Okay, I'm going to hand right. this over to E-Strike now. Okay, cool. Thanks, E-Strike. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Now, one of the biggest things with, with TS is it's probably the best weapon in the game. Whereas you don't have to chat using typing. You can just speak it so much quicker and clearer. But one of the problems that I've noticed User joined your team. is everybody does it differently so if we can get it where it's everybody's unified in what we're doing as in instead of saying to your left to your right because everybody's left and right is different depending on which way you're facing uh, if we use north south east and west I know sometimes it takes a second to figure out which is which but it just makes it so much easier then you know um, where the enemy is or where the contact is. If anybody has any questions or any input during this, just speak up. Well, as a tanker, what's important is I need to know exactly how far and in which di direction I need to point my, my gun so I can quickly uh, locate them. All right. Good point. Um, yeah, that will come. That comes to uh, working contacts. So if you bring up the map, so we'll say there's one to the northeast, and you can tell he's near the road. So everybody, I think everybody knows, but just to get it clear, is you, you can right click, go add report, and then you have a list on the right, and you choose what you see. Um, what we we'll usually use if we see an enemy's through is we we'll usually put an enemy truck up, as I've done, just to display so you got a rough idea. You try to be as accurate as you can. Sometimes it's difficult. One trick I'll use is, is I'll try to look at the color of the ground where I see the enemy. And then when you look on the map, you can kind of helps you out. If you see a brown patch, you know he's just on the out brown patch. 
on the other side or whichever, then you, can, you know roughly where you can place and get that mark as accurate as you can. Now, obviously, in flat terrain like this, it's a lot harder to do. That it is, yeah. Sometimes you just can't do it, so you just you try to give it your best guess. And as a mission leader, you can delete marks. I can't because I'm not the mission leader. But um, so say you see an enemy tank, you take it out. You can then delete it so that nobody else goes looking for it. Yeah, if you're going to go look and investigate marks on the map, don't waste your time looking for stuff that's over a minute old. So by the time that mark is, unless it's a tank sitting there, you can see it sitting there. But majority of the time, anything that's over a minute old, whatever was there is gone. So another thing is is when we when we are using um, TS, we all like to socialize, have a good time, kid us with one another, tease one another. But sometimes it we get into combat, it gets a little carried away. So I think what we'd like to use is break, break, break. So as soon as you hear that, everybody should go quiet. So whoever has something to report can report it. Um, Another a good one to use is if it is quiet and you see something, just yell contact and then report where it is. You know, EI to the northeast, about 500 meters, whatever. Or, you know, in the red building, whether you're in a town. So that way everybody knows right away where it is. Um, so does that mean that if you see somebody moving, you should say contact and then... User disconnected say where yep. they are in the position? Yeah, yep. absolutely. So you, you all of a sudden say you see an EI, or you think it's an EI, you just go contact, possible EI, north, just on the other side of the road. Kind of a dumb question, but why would you say break, break, break? Or is that just well, uh, a trend that like break, some break, people break, use? Break. It's that's just, just uh, break that people in break, break, break. <laughs> So that, that that would be, if, if there is a conversation, say there's two guys and they're just chit-chatting, you know, oh yeah, I saw that tank and I was going to take him out. Somebody goes, break, 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 that conversation should go quiet. Okay. Because somebody has seen a contact and he just wants to break in the conversation and report his contact. Okay. Because quite you. often, no problem, because quite often, you know, you got something to report, you can't get in to report it, and by the time you do, you're just a death mark. There's a place.